Dr. Liz Lipsky, clinical nutritionist and author of The Digestion Connection. Our topic for today is leaky gut syndrome and how it causes systemic effects that you wouldn't associate with digestion at all. So for example, if you have arthritis or migraines or eczema or psoriasis, if you've undergone chemotherapy or radiation treatment for cancers, you probably have a leaky gut. Uh, if you have food sensitivities, that's a big tip off that you probably have leaky gut. And what happens is that the small intestine is where we absorb food and nutrients into our bloodstream. And the small intestine is about 20 to 30 feet long in all of us. And it has a paradoxical job to do. Its job is to absorb nutrients, but not to let bacteria, parasites, fungus, toxins, or food molecules that are too big into the bloodstream. What happens with a leaky gut is that if we're under too much stress, if we've been taking a lot of antibiotics or steroid medications like prednisone or cortisone, if we've been using inhalers for a really long time for asthma, if you've uh, been drinking too much alcohol, eating poor quality foods, you can have actually a place where your intestinal wall doesn't repair and replace itself. And it's supposed to do this every three to five days. And if it can't do that well enough, then what happens is we start getting spaces between the cells. There's swelling actually that occurs. And just like with a, if you hit your thumb with a hammer, it would swell. These cells in your small intestine, they pull apart. They're called enterocytes. And then bacteria, toxins, yeast, parasites, food molecules slip right through into your bloodstream where we have no defenses for that. Then our immune system mounts a response because it sees this as all garbage. And if we're lucky, your immune system deals with this. But for many of us, we end up with systemic health issues that once we help heal our digestive system, eat the right foods, and take the right nutrients, we start feeling amazingly better. In fact, last night I was out to dinner and I ran into an old client. She said, you know, 25 years ago, you worked with me on my arthritis and you worked with my diet. And because of that, I'm hardly in pain at all anymore. You really helped my life. It was an amazing thing to hear. I was honestly surprised myself that it had had such a big effect on her for such a long time. But what we can see is that digestion, when it's not right, you can have horrible systemic events and not feel well. And so getting this gut lining healed is an amazing thing to do. And you can do that with rest, stress management techniques such as meditation, exercise, eating the right foods, and sometimes taking the right nutrients like L-glutamine, which is the main nutrient that our intestine uses for maintenance, repair, and energy. Most of our body runs on glucose, but not the intestines. It needs that glutamine. Also, probiotic-rich foods can really be helpful. Things like kefir, things like kefir yogurt, sauerkraut, kimchi, miso soup, all very yummy for you and really helps to heal your gut. And finally, you might want to take some probiotic supplements. There's a lot more on leaky gut and how to fix it and more of the systemic effects like autoimmune disease written in Digestion Connection. I hope that you'll take a look. And until then, be well. Bye. Digestion Connection is sold exclusively by Rodale Press at digestionconnectionbook.com.